I love hearing inspiring stories that make me smile, uplifting stories of how people manage to make their dreams come true. I'm about to meet a young man from one of the poorest countries in the world who's done just that by using his positive mindset alone. Welcome, Corsa. Thank you so much. Tell me, um, where did you grow up? What was life like for you? When I was born, there are no electricity and water supply yet in my village. We used the lake water and we used the fire from burn the food or oil. Yeah, it looks like it's so difficult if compared to London. To make it easy for us to understand and for anyone watching, how difficult was it um, to feed yourself, to money, how tight was it? When I was young, I need to bring the water by myself, buy sober, uh, have a sober by myself, and sometimes I take for my family as well. Every day. How old were you? Since I was when seven years old, I can go. It's like happy for me, like like a happy, happy uh, activity for me when I was young. It's a responsible for me to bring. It's for my family. I went with sometimes with my brother, sometimes alone, sometimes with my father to find it because we need it to support our family. Because it's the place for us was born and the environment which we are adapted. And you had to do this to have enough food to eat? Uh, one year, I didn't get enough food as well. That's time. Uh, basically, uh, Cambodian people, they have rice as a food regularly. But that year, all family didn't get a good deal of rice. Yep. I, in my house, we didn't have rice anymore. My father decided to go to the mountain to find sweet potato for support. During that time, I was young. Maybe I three or four years old. But I still remember that picture. When was it that you, I think, fell in love with education? Luckily for me, I have an auntie. She studied in primary school in um, maybe grade six. I'm uh, passionate, very, really passionate to learn because I love learning. I can count the number before I go to school, went to school. Where do you think this hunger to learn comes from? It's, it's like inside power from my body. I really want to know the new thing. Like one thing, when I was young, I really want to be a scientist. I want to be a space engineering. I want to research the other planet. So you fell in love with uh, the stars and the galaxies and the planets. Yeah. Your school um, cost money in Cambodia, books, pens, pencils, uniform. How did you cope with that? How did you find money for this? My family rarely to buy for me because I got a gift from my school because I get good results from my school. So at the end of the years, they will give a small gift for the good children. So every year I got it. So every year, yeah. you studied so hard that yes. you came first and won the prize. Yes. And that gave you some money. Yeah. When you were growing up, I read that you always dreamed of having a new uniform. I really to buy new uh, uniform because my cousin is always dropped it for me. And I happy to get it. I didn't care about that. It's old or secondhand from my cousin, but it's new for me. I think it's new for me. All for them, but it's new for me. It's okay. I never care about something to speak about that. How hard was it for you to continue studying? Uh, for me, I think that I can't study without money. I can't study without enough food because I need to study to reduce my poverty. I need to study to find a new way for my family. I need to study only this way. Only this way can help me or pick me or take me out 
from the poverty. Not only me, I can have my family. So, no choice. I cannot go to work because I know that if you stop studying, your future will be end. It's very inspiring to hear you how you held on to your dream yeah. tightly to make it come true. I know that my family didn't have the ability to support me. So, uh, must find a scholarship to study in Phnom Penh, in university. So I, I tried. And all that dedication and focus paid off because you then were able to get a scholarship from the Children of the Mekong charity. Tell me about that. I did an exam in the Children of the Mekong. I got good uh, result as well. And within my situ uh, family situation, it's very poor. So I got a chance. How has that changed your life? Definitely, it's very, it's completely changed for my life. I'm the first person in my area. I got scholarship from my university. I got scholarship from the Children of Mekong as well. And yes, like that. So it's a complete, uh, it's really changed my life. So you kept your dream alive. You kept at the hardest moments to keep studying. Yes. What kept you going? when you were, there's not enough food, your family's struggling. With uh, that's the uh, car situation. Like no food, no money, but I never give up because I have a dream. I want to become a work uh, engineering. If I want my future become prize, I need to study and no way you cannot stop it and get a good future. And you made that dream come true. I studied in rural engineering in the uh, uh, Institute of Technology of Cambodia. It's a famous engineering university in Cambodia. I'm, yeah, I'm most excited to study here. And I spent five years to graduate for my bachelor degree. And now I got it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel inside to achieve something so big? And I'm very, very happy and very, very excited. And I really took a strong feeling to get a new thing and have my family, have my society, have my country. One of the most powerful things I'm picking up about you is that your incredible, positive and happy Personality is the strength that you have. Positive thinking is very important for yourself. And don't care about, don't care a lot. Don't push yourself uh, to be stressed. Don't push yourself to the fire. I think that, or I cannot stop you to make me hurt, but I can stop myself to be hurt. Because I can control myself. I cannot control you. I cannot control everybody, but I can, I can control myself. In your darkest moments, when you were struggling and you're doing everything you can to be educated, is it your sense of humour? Is it being the joker, the comedian, that's kept you going? Nobody can find a solution with sadness and stress. You can skip it and get back and thinking about it, consider about this problem, take your time, relax, and happy, and then you come back to think about it again. If cannot, you get back again, again and again, again and again. Finally, it will be sold. That's an important message today as we sit here in London, in a city full of people that are very stressed. I think you've just said there that you can achieve more in happiness by being yes. happy than you can from sadness. When you feel sad, everybody does. Yes. And when you feel um, at some point, you feel like crying, how do you change yourself? When I get stressed or sadness, I'm play football, a sport, 
It's one more, one more thing to reduce your stress. Or you can find some uh, one person who you can speak it out. But that's a really powerful um, insight to how you stay so happy. You've now graduated in yes. engineering, in rural engineering. Yes. What's your dream for the future? I want to be a project manager of a project in construction because I want to be a businessman. I want to provide happiness to my colleagues. I want to bring a new idea. I want to bring a new thing, bring a new job, Cambodian people. How important has it been to be here in London to experience this? Thanks to the Children of the Mekong charity. I had a dream to take a plane. Because I stay in Phnom Penh every night before I go to bed, I heard a plane cross pass on my house. So I have that feeling, want to take a plane before I die. <laughs> now I, I got it. So what's your message to any other young person anywhere in the world, including Cambodia? You should find the benefit from your problem. Don't be sad. You should find the opportunity from it. It's a thing to develop yourself. So never, ever, ever give up yeah. on your dream. You should uh, think positive, positive uh, have positive thinking in yourself and need to find the people you can confident on him or them because you cannot live alone. So find a good support network, yeah. like good friends that you can depend on. Exactly. That you'll, they will be there for you. Kosu, it's been an absolute pleasure. Your parents must be so proud of you. Oh, thank you. You can follow the children of the Mekong and sponsor a child yourself here.